Alright guys, this is the part where I use an overrated greetings to say hey to you guys, but I'm not going to because everyone does it. It's kind of annoying now. I'm a little over it. So anyways, this video I figured I'd help you guys make, uh, well, help some of the smaller channels out there. They're just starting to get into YouTube and, and trying to get noticed. I'll admit, I don't even have a capture card. I just use the Xbox One for my recording. It does it in 1080p. I can pull them up on my PC with the OneDrive. And then I use a few side screen recording programs for PC. I'll put those in the description. The Xbox One, though, is truly an amazing tool to help out smaller channels that just... If you don't have a capture card, low low budget, there you go. If you just don't have a good capture card, use the Xbox One. You can say Xbox record that to capture all your best moments. And then, yeah, it only gets 30 seconds, but you can do it manually for up to five minutes. And most of your videos really shouldn't be longer than five minutes anyways. But, I mean, if you want more than five minutes, then just end the clip and start it again. You have another five minutes. Um, you can also directly upload from the YouTube app on the Xbox One to just put it up on YouTube right there really easy that's what I do for my 30 second clips I don't put ads on my 30 second clips because that gets really annoying I don't even put my intro and outro on 30 second clips because I want to I want to keep the channel for the viewers so if it's if it's not like at least a minute long I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put ads on it or anything like that I'm not even gonna bother to get paid for it then so I started, I started out making 30 second clips, and then I started to put out how-to videos and just, just having random fun, a little few, a few montages, and not longer, not long after I started putting these videos up, I got invited to Maker Max or Info GTV, however you want to call them. I hear a lot of bad things about them, but so far I haven't had any bad experiences. They give me a lot of bonuses, and they, they even all, they have, I have a, um, they allow me to make my own merchandise, which is actually really cool. I have a lot of fun making the shirts. I've made over like a hundred shirts. I haven't sold any yet, but I just, I really honestly just have fun making the shirts. They're really cool. Some of the designs are sweet. I'll definitely probably buy some myself, And but there's, a, there's some copyright issues with some of that stuff. But you can put your logos on the shirts. You can do whatever you want. But... First of all, just make your videos for fun and just put them out there because you like putting them out there and then if somebody offers to pay you, do that. Don't make your videos for money. I only had about 45 subscribers when I started and I'm about I'm, a, yeah, I'm about at 60 now and I'm starting to get a little more serious with my videos, making them a little bit longer and my only regret is having to delete some of the montages that I had because they didn't have the copyright permission to... Uh, to monetize them, so I had to get rid of some, and that, that kind of sucks because a lot of those are really cool. I was proud of them; they're really frustrating to make, but I'll probably redo them. I did get some permission from some artists. It's really not that hard. You can just find their email and email them, and maybe they'll just appreciate the fact that you asked at all. But I wish you guys good luck. If you want me to give you a referral application, give me a message, comment, do whatever you want, and I'll get back to you and I'll try and help you get into something. I'll try and figure out something for you. Work on those titles, work on those thumbnails, and get an intro. People like that shit. I'm out. Reckless Fire. Enjoy your day.